this? How the fuck did this get out? Fuck me. Where the fuck? How the fuck? Is that Lazar? No, you're not Lazar, are you? Okay, sorry. I thought I recognized you when you got out of your vehicle there. Okay. How the fuck did this get out of my van? I hope the CD is okay. Fuck me. What the fuck, man? All right, that's still good. It's still okay. It's not scratched. We're all right. Fuck, this is one of my songs. All the wave files to one of my songs so I can re-edit it. That's my favorite song of them all. I wrote. It has so many different guitar riffs on wave file. It's not funny. <coughs> so why is this guy who got out of this vehicle right here fucking standing behind my fucking RV? At uh, what time is it? Midnight. Exactly. Okay, so this guy who's writing a ticket in the parking lot there uh, has walked by my table right here in Wendy's uh, at least four or five times. Now, three, three times I know distinctly for sure. I heard him utter something under his breath as he walked by me. Uh, I don't know if it was some kind of degradation or if it was part of the uh, hypnosis, uh, brainwashing shit that I've been experiencing, uh, but I mean, it would kind of make sense. Uh, people uttering something just, just quietly so that I barely hear it, hear it, triggers something, and uh, then all of a sudden I've got like a gap of missing time. Uh, however, for some reason I caught it all three times on this guy. And, uh, and I found myself replying with instinct, like not even thinking about it, go fuck yourself. Like, I've said it so many fucking times to so many fucking people, it's not funny. And I don't normally do that. Uh, it, I don't normally have an automatic response like that. Normally my automatic response is, excuse me, did you say something? And, uh, or what? You know, but the go fuck yourself thing, I have been experiencing this, uh, I, I, I felt my van shake last night. A friend of mine was uh, just trying out the front door. And the first thing automatically that I did was say, get the fuck away from my RV. And then she's like, what? And I recognized the voice. And so I went over and I'm like, no, 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 not you. I'm sorry. I've just gotten used to saying that because people have been fucking with my shit. But uh, the fact is, is that over the last three years, I've been training myself to say, can I help you? And all of a sudden, I find myself saying, go fuck, get the fuck away from my RV before I ever find out who's there or what's going on, or maybe it's just a wind, you know? Um, but I have trained myself to say, can I help you? And it's, it, I've done it for three years now, and suddenly uh, my automatic responses are not what I train myself to, to be, to have. And so I think I'm starting to break, break through and uh, consciously become aware of this fucking hypnosis shit that I've been under, that I've been experiencing. All right. Uh, all right. As a follow up to that previous video, I was sitting right up there in that first window there watching over my RV. And uh, that guy uttering the shit under the breath must have fucking done something to me to make me fucking forget that I, 
I must have seen somebody doing something to my fucking RV. Or blank out, well, somebody did do something to my RV. Because I came back to start my fucking RV uh, to find that uh, the ground connection between the engine and the battery is uh, loosened up sufficiently to cause a major drain of electricity when I try to start it and it wouldn't start. Not only that, but almost on a daily basis now, these guys have been fucking with my uh, air intake uh, with the choke flop there so that it's completely closed up and the engine won't fucking fire. Um, these two elements combined it will cause me to fucking sit there and crank it over and try to crank it over and end up flooding the engine uh, and uh, and then crank it over again with the engine flooded and blah 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 until my fucking battery's drained. That's what's just happened. And for some reason I haven't fucking clued in uh, to actually start checking things out until my battery starts clicking uh, the starter instead of fucking me knowing that I'm just going to drain the battery if I don't fucking check the rest of the engine. Uh, I'm like, is there some kind of disconnect in my fucking brain? No, these people have fucking given me hypnotic suggestion uh, telling me to just keep cranking it and to forget what I saw or to blank out while they do something because this was not like this when I drove to Wendy's. I was sitting there watching over my RV the whole time. I don't recall seeing anybody fucking anywhere near my RV, but I do recall seeing that stupid fucking uh, parking guard fucking going by me at least five times, at least three times uttering his breath. This was just fucking down here and I don't know how it got down there because I have been putting it up here. So I'm gonna do that so that it doesn't fucking fall down there again. That's a ground wire from the back end. I suspect that it actually uh, is attached to something uh, that I have no understanding or recollection or awareness of. Um, so I've kept it unattached and it seems like they have a harder time tracking me now where I go. So I think it was connected to a GPS. Um, now I am about to have to fucking use a drill battery to start my engine again and uh, after tightening up the ground to the engine and the fact is is that I have changed this down here I don't know if you can see it or not let's try this way so back there I have you know what fuck this shit basically what I did is I took the uh, part that does the automatic choke uh, I've took a piece of metal and wound it around the carburetor uh, at just the right point so that that fucking choke flap doesn't fucking go all the way fucking closed so that there's that sixteenth of an inch gap that tiny little gap um, that's required to actually have some air intake and my video was just interrupted by yet another fraudulent call from some fucking people that don't bother answering the fucking phone when I answer. Um, <laughs> like, can it get any more obvious that they're trying to fucking control what I'm doing? So, what I've done is I've taken a piece of fucking tie wire and I have fucking gone from the choke flap uh, on the outside there that's supposed to connect to the gas battery, the gas pedal, and I've uh, just fucking turned around and wrapped it around the carburetor at just the right point so there's a sixteenth of an inch gap always. Now, if I fucking wake up tomorrow morning and my engine doesn't start again and I find that flap closed, I'm gonna do a live YouTube video because this is starting to get preposterously out of fucking, uh, like, just preposterously stupid. I know what they're fucking doing. These people have no fucking idea what the fuck they're fucking with. Uh, the more they do, the more evidence they give me that shows me I'm fucking right about not only the hypnosis and mind control bullshit, but you know, the fact that I do have black ops fucking from military industrial complex fucking with me. There's no fucking question. And I'm pretty sure it's because I've been recording uh, aliens. Uh, like they fucked up my brand new phone because I had 160 gigabytes worth of video that showed very clearly aliens around my fucking vehicle at night doing who the fuck knows what just collecting data and information um on on uh on the neighborhood and the people in it and everything else uh so 
I'm pretty sure these guys are employing the highest fucking forms of black ops techniques that, that human beings know of uh, in order to fucking keep my mouth shut about aliens collaborating with the fucking government to fucking uh, to, to test, uh, to do experiments and tests on the population. Uh, I have known about this for a number of years. I have recorded it. I've put it on YouTube a couple of times. And uh, their attacks have gotten much, much worse recently. Ever since I fucking got that 160 gigabytes of video. Including fucking up my fucking phone. So that I... Brand new phone. So I can't fucking use it or get the data off of it. And uh, they fucked it with my... Uh, uh, taxes so that I couldn't collect any money in taxes and get my fucking phone repaired. Um, they've fucking done everything they can to impede my ability to fucking get this information out to the public. And I think it's becoming, uh, I, I you know, the more they push me to, sh to keep silent and don't actually fucking come, come to terms with me to make me keep my silence or for me to agree to keep my silence, um, and I haven't asked for much at $20 million and fucking get the fuck out of my life and give me this fucking woman that you guys have under my mind control hypnosis, um, you know, free her and let her be with me, uh, because we did develop a love together and then they made her completely forget about it. And it, it breaks my heart, but at the same time, it has only strengthened my resolve to get this information out there because they're trying to fuck me over. They're trying to fucking kill me. They're trying to fucking uh, cut off my connections. They're trying to fucking call me crazy. They're trying to fucking get me addicted to drugs. Like uh, repetitively now, a number of women have come to me and tried to get me to do drugs um, uh, since Christmas when I completely stopped everything uh, but, but um, cannabis. So... This is going on YouTube right now. Okay, one more thing I just wanted to mention. The fact is, I got here at quarter to nine. According to my internal cr chronometer, uh, I've been here about half an hour, 40 minutes. Uh, the time now, in actuality, is... Um, let's see here. Time now, in actuality, uh, 10.46. So somehow, I, in my own recollection and internal chronometer, have lost 40 to 45 minutes. 